Hi, I'm Catherine Mora and I'm a book coach working with coaches, speakers and entrepreneurs to help them write a quality book. And today's topic is how do I feel about dictating your book? So you might know there are lots of different options and methods for writing your book. And one of them, there's some programs out there where you can spend a weekend dictating your book into a digital recorder and then it gets sent off and transcribed and then edited into your final book. So I think the answer comes down to what you're looking for when you write a book and what's your reason for writing. Do you want to be seen as an expert in your field where you're producing something of high quality and you're seen as that expert, as that go-to person in your field? And beyond that, do you want someone to read your book and have it change their lives or at least have it educate them, inspire them, make a difference? Do you want it to be the type of book that they recommend to their friends because they absolutely loved it? You know, did they stay up all night and out of that book? And if you answer that question, then you probably will be halfway through to answering the question of this video. And that's how I feel about dictating your book. So I'll be honest, I don't love that approach. And the reason is, look, there's a lot of reasons. One is that only spending one weekend working on something doesn't give it time to breathe. You know, all my clients who are working on their books for a few months, you know, a little bit every day. So they'll come back and look at their book later and think, oh, I should have put in that and I should have left out that and I forgot about this or that one doesn't work so well. I've got a better anecdote here or, you know, they when it's got time to breathe, they have time to reevaluate, to come up with fresh ideas, to feel fresh on different days when they're writing. If you bash out a book in a weekend, no matter how you do it, everything's so condensed. And if you don't, if you're not in flow that weekend, your book might not be as good as it could be because you've kind of forced it to all happen in that one weekend. Whereas when you write a book over a few months, you have time to just let it organically grow and breathe and shift and change. And I think that's a really beautiful thing. The other thing that I don't love about dictating your book is that the way we speak is very different to the way we write and that works on paper. So, you know, when you speak, you can go off on tangents, you kind of ramble, you forget what you said, you think, did I say that? I think they said that already. And, you know, you can get really unsure of if you're on the right track and staying focused and staying on that right track. Whereas if you write an outline and then you're writing like at your computer, you can go back and check or, you know, did I mention that? Did I mention this? And make sure it has a logical flow. Our brains don't think logically for two days straight of recording to have it all down and all perfect the way that we speak. Our brains don't really work like that. We always are saying things that we don't mean or, you know, that sound ridiculous. So when you dictate, and it's all down and then you go off and get it transcribed, it comes back to you edited, then it is very hard, and I don't know if you've found this, when you look at a piece of writing, it can be very hard to completely change it even if it needs structural changes. And that's because when it's already there in front of you, your brain sort of accepts it for how it is. And yes, this is why you hire professional editors. And But when you are writing the book, you can also do the same thing. If you're typing it out, you can kind of look and see, oh, I've missed this, I've missed that. When you've said it, it's gone, it's in the past. So the other thing I would say is, you know, I've, I've read a few or tried to read a few books that have been dictated. And to be honest, I find them hard to get through. And I'm sure that you're the same. And of course, as a book coach, people come and tell me all the time their experiences with books. And so many people have come to me and said, oh God, my friend did this book that you know was done in this style and it was so terrible I can't tell her but I can't even read it and you know they possibly they're saying it to you know be nice for me with to me because they know I do it differently or because they know I'm a book coach but honestly I guess I can see where that comes from and it's this whole idea that has come up that a, that a book is like a business card you know an expensive business card I've heard that phrase a lot of times and in a, in a way it is, no matter the quality, it is an expensive business card because you can give it to people in different scenarios to help you know, warm up cold leads, things like that. But if you're going to write something and you're going to spend thousands of dollars, wouldn't you rather it be something beautiful of high quality that's going to change lives? And that if people do read it, they're going to actually think, wow, this person really knows what they're talking about. So my advice is you always have to do what you want, what works for you, what works for your business. But if you want to dictate your book, don't come and see me. I am not your person and you are not mine because if we work together, we will spend a few months making the most beautiful book that we can. 
because I want to I want my clients to have readers lying up at night night unable to put the book down so that's what makes me excited is thinking about that end reader and hopefully it does for you if this does resonate with you and you're thinking about writing your book and you've got a few months just a little bit of time every day you know 15 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes and then the occasional one or two hour session when you're feeling really g'd up about it then uh, send me a message comment below and happy to brainstorm with you at any time about your book idea talk soon